Hello and welcome to this short demonstration of the Dolphin Rig from the Autorig Pro Rig Library Blender add-on. This rig is part of a library of 24 animal rigs which can be bought at Blender Market. It's important to note that the Autorig Pro Rig Library is specifically built for the Autorig Pro rigging system, so you need to have bought that add-on for the rig library to work. Each of the 24 rigs comes with a locomotion animation, and in the case of this Dolphin Rig, that's this swimming animation. Let me show you that from multiple angles so you can get a better idea of the animation. Uh, and just as a side note, I've animated this uh, uh, swimming animation on 30 FPS and not on 24 because uh, with the whole creation of the rig and this animation, I kept game engine compatibility in mind. So uh, yeah, that's, that's why I did that. Cool, let's get back to the features of the rig. Uh, and first of all, the whole pur purpose of this rig is to, to act as a template rig to rig your own 3D models. So you can uh, use this rig to rig any, any type of animal this, which has a similar anatomy as, as a dolphin, basically. So, um, yeah, so you could probably use it to animate uh, uh, maybe... Uh, a whale or something or or something else another animal which basically sort of has a similar anatomy as a dolphin um, cool the uh, besides that this rig comes also with this block mesh uh, which is basically just there to give you an idea of the of where to place the bones of this rig within your own model it it's just a, a official guide a, a helpful tool but you can easily delete it if you have no use for it let me just undo that. Um, yeah, so that's what the block mesh is for. Uh, cool. On to the controls of the rig. First of all, we have this uh, position controller, which is there to place the rig within your scene. We have this trajectory controller, which is there to animate a trajectory for your dolphin rig or for any type of animal which you are using this rig for. Um, cool. We have this, uh, um, sorry, this root master controller, which uh, controls both the upper and lower body. We have this root controller, which only controls the lower body, so you can use it to, uh, yeah, sort of animate a hip sway or something like that. Uh, we have this tail master controller, which you can use to animate all the tail bones at once uh, the same with this spine mass controller you can use it to animate all the spine bones at once um, here we have the head controller and if I turn on the tool tab you can see we have this headlock property uh, let me demonstrate what that does uh, if I take the neck controller and I move it around you can see that the orientation of the of the head follows the neck but when I toggle the headlock like that and I move the neck around you can see that the head that the orientation of the head uh, keeps facing forward so that's what the headlock does okay um, yeah uh, onto the arm or the fin I should say uh, um, that's by default in FK as you can see, but I can easily switch to uh, IK. Now it's an IK setup, as you can see. Um, let's just keep it for now in IK because then I can show you this uh, auto stretch feature. If I turn it on and I move the fin beyond its limits, limit, you can see that it stretches out, so that gives for some nice cartoony animation. Um, the arm twist is there to correct any deformation in the, in the fin or the arm, whatever you want to call it. Um, and we have elbow pinning. So uh, here you can see the elbow. If I move it around, you can see that the elbow follows. But when I pin the elbow and I move it around, you can see that it stays put because it's pinned. Okay. Um, am I missing anything else? No. 
I believe uh, these are the main features of this dolphin rig. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me on Blender Market. I'm always uh, happy to help. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching.